Hello everyone, so I'll be explaining about the channel damage. So what is the channel damage? The channel damage is basically a buff that increase your final result of damage by a specific amount of damage. This skill, for example, give me the chain damage by 2.380k. So if I'm autoing by 3.2k and I increase it by another 2.3k, now I should hit about 5.3k. 5.4k. How does it work with skills? With skills, let's wait for it to go. I hit 72k and if I increase it by another 2k, it should be 74k. As you see, you won't feel it that much with skills. So, with skills, it does give this additional damage. First, let's go to sword. So, they have underwater swordmen, which increase your additional damage by the amount of your defense. No one know how much exactly does it give. I think it give me from where I see it the amount of all my amount of my defense into additional damage. So if I have 3k defense it gives me another 3k damage. There is a stacking at least one that I don't have it. And there is these Kyoto skills that give you the additional damage by 1k. With 75 chance, and if it's switch, you will get it up by granted. Next open is club mace. Mace have additional damage buff for party when you bust the white tiger or lesbian skill. Uh, axe. Axe have many additional damage buff. The and it's, it goes to three specific buffs. There is additional damage giant power level 3, which doesn't stack with another giant power level 3. There is this Seneca. There is this Kirito. And there is this Kohau. There is the buff I used before, which is Earthquake buff. And there is a giant level 4 addition damage. Giant level 4 and giant level 3 stack together. Giant level 3 and giant level 3 doesn't stack together. There is. Oh. There is a shy loop one. I hope I said it right. That increases your addition damage by the amount of your attack. And there is the cute vampire. Both of those doesn't stack with it because they give the same buff. Next, I will be going to. Oh, Peel doesn't have one. Spear doesn't have one. Nagio have one. Nagio have this skill that increases your addition damage based on your level. There is abilities that give you addition damage. Uh, there is a stacking additional damage, which is this lever. I stack your additional damage every time you switch. There is this this cliff, which includes your additional damage based on your defense after switch. And there is also good and bad skills. There is also this skill, which I like because it includes your but you can rate of normal attacks by 80% and also increase your addition damage. There is... Well, I'm not gonna show all the skills. I'll show just those that I remember by just looking at them. Increase your addition damage based on your event. Increase your addition damage by... 180 so it's worthless in my eyes in my opinion 
Uh, there is the most toothless five star, five star skill for Alice. That once it was good, now it's not. And there is money four star skills that give you the ch damage. So, how do I recommend using this side chain damage? I basically recommend using it with auto build and dash mode. Why rush mode? If you have max rush mode, it will increase your final result of damage by 100%. How does it, how does it work with uh, additional damage? Let's say I'm hitting 2.8k with additional damage. I'll be hitting 4.6k, I think. 5.4k. Now, if I use it with Osh, which will increase it by 100%, I should hit 10k. Now I'm hitting. Nah, no, I don't want to cut it. 10k. Now I'll attack. I think we doubled it. So if you use Giant Buff Level 3, Giant Buff Level 4, and Action Damage Boost on your attack together with Osh Mode, you will hit 100k plus. With these things together, I reach the 200 auto damage with dagger so yeah i recommend using it with osh and no i don't recommend using x for auto damage because x and mace do the same damage if you use them as auto so better just use the mace because it hit faster I hope this video helped you and see you next time.